I've got a secret. I use hand planes a lot in the American wood shop. And if you don't think so, look down on the floor. Okay, sometimes a hand plane is exactly what you need to use in order to make a twisted board flat. You can shoot that up twisted edge right off of there. And in this case on the door show, when I flip this over now and I do the joints with the dominoes, it will be perfect. Don't give up on a piece of wood. Now, the other thing is sharpening. You need a red diamond stone, a big one. You need a honing stone. I have a Shapton 8000. An affordable one is the Norton HB8, Hard Arkansas Oil Stone. With your stones, you have to keep them flat. I use black diamond plates to do that. I just bring the honing stone on top of the black diamond, which is the extra course, and I keep it flat. You can't hone properly if your honing stone is not flat. Same thing with the Norton. You can dress it very quickly. You can do it dry or you can do it with water. Your choice, never with oil. Now, check this out. Fingers into a cup of water. Just a couple taps give you the right amount of water on the surface of your diamond stone. And low angle block plane right here, hot knife through butter. And these are wonderful to use to radius the edge of doors like this. Now let's do a quick little sharpening segment here. Release that up and off. Take a look at the bevel. Now this is not something that most people would do. Most people do the sharpening like this. Water on the surface of the stone, you bring the bevel, that's that angled surface, up, squeeze out all the water, Keep this edge parallel to the edge of the diamond stone and move your entire body. And what that does is that dresses that entire bevel from the heel to the cutting edge. And I'm going to put my fingers on the outside edge to keep equal pressure down. And as long as water is going in front of the blade on the surface of the diamond, you have the right pressure on the bevel. I'm moving my body, not my arms. Now let's take a look at that. That's perfect. Now, let me show you another way to do that. You bring the diamond plate up to your solar plexus so you can sight down the interface like a rifle sight. Be careful about this. Keep your fingers away from the cutting edge. Slice you open. And you can dress that bevel beautifully that way as well. Try it. You'll be surprised how well you like it. And then I go to the honing stone. And what I can do now, same idea, is hone it. Again, a little bit of water on that would help tremendously. Now I've pushed the bird to the other side. This is something I learned from Rob Cosman, which you need to go to his website for details on this. This does a micro bevel on the back of the blade. And he learned this from a gentleman in England. You use a very thin piece of metal, about 20 thou. In this case, it's a center finding rule, okay, with the numbered side down so I don't rub them off. And what that does now is that gives me a honed edge that is scary sharp. So keep your blade sharp and don't be afraid of using hand planes to fix twisted boards.